Welcome to Rehab Nurse Education, Neurogenic Bowel. I'm Bowel Care Betty. I will be your instructor today. By the end of this session you will be able to define neurogenic bowel dysfunction and explain the difference in an upper motor neuron injury versus a lower motor neuron injury. Neurogenic bowel is the term used to describe dysfunction of the bowel, due to loss of normal sensory and or motor control. The spinal cord acts as an information highway for communication between the brain and the body. The brain receives sensory messages from the body, such as my nose itches, which directs the body to scratch the nose. When a spinal cord injury occurs, it's like having a roadblock and the messages cannot get through. There are two different types of neurogenic bowel dysfunction after spinal cord injury. Reflexic or spastic bowel occurs in patients with a spinal cord injury above thoracic level 12, also known as an upper motor neuron injury. A reflexic or a flaccid bowel occurs in patients with a spinal cord injury at or below thoracic level 12, also known as a lower motor neuron injury. Patients with upper motor neuron injuries, or a reflexic bowel, cannot voluntarily relax the anal sphincter. Even though the reflex that triggers a bowel movement still works the patient may not have the sensation that they need to have a bowel movement. Patients with an areflexic bowel or lower motor neuron injury, as the name suggests, have reduced reflex control. Sphincter tone is low or absent. Bowel programs should focus on daily manual removal of stool. Patients with neurogenic bowel dysfunction need diligent bowel care programs which we will discuss further in our series. To summarize our session, neurogenic bowel is the loss of normal bowel function due to injuries such as a spinal cord injury. Understanding the difference between an upper motor neuron injury versus a lower motor neuron injury will determine the appropriate bowel care program you as a nurse will implement. Ineffective bowel programs lead to accidents, incontinence, constipation, and other serious medical conditions. These problems can cause physical, social, and emotional difficulties. People with neurogenic bowel dysfunction need to have a bowel management program that helps reduce accidents, promotes freedom and enhances quality of life. Thank you for joining me. Stay tuned in for our next session on making bowel programs successful.